I'm Miles Peters, I'm the Technical Architect at Derby City Council and my engagement here was to implement a new council house and work style with all of the infrastructure and compliance with our codes of connection. The council had inherited a traditional 1930s building, small, cramped, cellular offices, dreadful customer services area. The council was operating in over 30 locations around the city centre. Before the upgrade, we had a, an evolved network, a traditional network, air-gapped, segregated, really reactive to various initiatives and security requirements. The vision was to have one new modern building to be proud of where people could be comfortable and could come in and receive services from whoever they, where whoever they needed services from, they could come to one place. As a local authority we have to work with a number of agencies who are also subject to a number of mandatory security controls for criminal justice, for health and for the public services network. This is very, very challenging. Different agencies have different requirements, they have different mandates and the traditional approach has been to provide separate networks for everybody. And different partners within the agency such as police and health would have had separate regions and separate zones in which only they could work. Nowcom introduced a new Cisco technology called the Identity Services Engine. That allowed us to use a role-based policy engine to determine network membership. It gave us role-based access. That enabled us to have complete flexibility in the building where people worked and what services they accessed. It gives you complete transparency. You could go to any desk, any hot desk, sit down in a Wi-Fi zone, sit down in the cafe. You can access the services through a seamless interface. The Nowcom chaps were great, very, very well understood. The engineering's people, they're outstanding. Um, some people with extraordinary skills and knowledge that really they brought to this new solution. So we had a long dialogue of how we wanted to develop the service and they were involved with it in all stages. They got themselves construction safety cards, put their yellow helmets on and their high-vis jackets and came in with the builders three months before we moved in. Well, it actually went beyond expectation. We had sought to get seven desks per 10 staff. Since then, we've actually overachieved. We're now looking at six desks for 10 people, so it has been more than a success. We're extended across the city. Not only that, we're extending it into some partnership initiatives as well. This has become the template for flexible office space within the city and for the deployment of Surf the City, our new Wi-Fi initiative across the entire city centre. So this has been in the enablement of a number of changes, both within the council itself and within the city itself. This will help us all. It will help the customer, it will help ourselves. We can work flexibly, we can work, we can manage demand, we can work from home, we can work in our partner agencies' offices. This doesn't make us one council, this makes us one darling.